Today we're going to take a tour of the South Florida Museum. The museum is located in downtown Bradenton, very close to the river. The museum consists of three parts, a nice planetarium, a museum of exhibits, and then also an aquatic center where we have an opportunity to see Snooty the Manatee. And we're taking a look from the second story down to the major exhibit of a dinosaur. The head weighs more than 400 pounds. Look at these historical exhibits here at the South Florida Museum. It's very interesting to see what happened in Florida during the Spanish-American War and the Seminole Wars. There are also many features on what it was like in the old days in Bradenton. Here's an exhibit of dugout canoes. Did you know that dugout canoes are made from a single tree? The top canoe is over 600 years old. The South Florida Museum has a planetarium. Here, a big feature is getting ready to start. As you might imagine, they are known as sunspots. This planet is mostly covered with water, oceans. The museum also has a collection study gallery. There are shells, corals, guns, and historic furniture. And let's take a tour of the medical gallery. This is an old doctor's office. And here's a mail stand of surgical tools. And look at that anesthesiologist's table. To the left, there's an old vintage apothecary. This is probably similar to what an old drugstore looked like. It looks like probably in the 18 and 1900s, it wasn't too comfortable going to the dentist. It still isn't. There's a section called Discovery Place where you can interact with many exhibits, both historical, animal, and technological. A lot of us take it for granted to drive from Tampa to Miami, but it was a really a big deal to build the Tamiami Trail Highway. Gee, I think that's an alligator. And here's a very detailed exhibit of the Florida uplands. Look at the birds. And look at the Florida panther over there. Here's an exhibit on manatees here at the South Florida Museum. They're getting ready to feed them. And here's Snooty the manatee. He's over 60 years old. And he can do tricks. Sometimes he even rolls over. Especially for a treat. Yes, there goes Snooty rolling over. Good boy, Snooty. I'm so proud of you. Now we're going to see if Snooty will eat some broccoli. Nope. Not today. Maybe he wants some Doritos. Hey, of course, how come you can't pet the manatees? Um, so we don't allow people to pet them because, one, they may not like it, but they're not aggressive enough to tell you to get away. Or two, they will like it, and then they're going to be more attractive to people, which will usually put them at risk of being hit by goats. Oh, and that's why it's the law. So that's the same reason mm -hmm. why um, you're not legally allowed to give them water or feed them or anything like that. Um, they can't, they become habituated and dependent upon the areas where they find food and find water. So if you give, you know, this one man to water a few days in a row, and now learns, okay, I can get water here. But if you're not there every day to give it water, then... I hope you enjoy visiting the South Florida Museum and hanging out with Snooty and me today.